Pepper says she wants to join in in the fun and also make spring DIY crafts too. Spring is in the air, and I am ready to start decorating the house for the season. And I'm excited to decorate my kitchen shelves that we put up Memorial Day weekend in 2021. The thing is that though, I'm doing a no spend on holiday decor this year, so I'm not buying any new decor. So how do I decorate? Well. I'm going to decorate by saving money, shopping my hoarded stash, and creating new DIY projects. And a lot of my hoarded craft supplies are at Dollar Tree. That's when I bought them, probably early last year when it was still a dollar, not a dollar 25. But if you need certain pieces that you don't have in your hoarded craft stash, I did make sure that Dollar Tree had them in stock for this year, 2022. But as for myself, for someone who is recovering in my hoarding disorder, I decided to do a no spend on any holiday home decor, which meant I had to get creative. And I love being creative. And it's given me a chance to shop my hoarded stash, to use items that I already have. And honestly, this is the perfect year for everyone to do that because inflation and these prices, they're, they're a little out of control. <laughs> so if we already have it at home, let's save money and use what we have. We can turn it around into a positive experience because it gives us a chance to be more creative because you know how much I thrive on my creativity and to express myself. So this to me is like one of my favorite series. <laughs> I just love shopping my hoarded stash to create new things. Another reason why I love doing this is because it's really keeping me motivated to declutter and organize. Because last spring, we organized all the Easter spring decorations and look how great this looks. Everything is marked and labeled in a clear bin. And it was so much easier to find my Easter stuff because it took me a lot longer fishing through all that craft supplies because it was a hot mess over there. And being organized is so much easier and it feels so much better. And it's saving me probably a ton of money because I'm not losing a ton of things, rebuying it because I know exactly where it's at. I'm finally getting it. I'm finally getting to that point of recovering in my hoarding disorder to where I can really find joy and happiness in the organization. And guess what? I still got the same dopamine rush that you get when shopping at a store, except I did it by shopping my hoarded stash. So now I get to very excitedly start to gather all my supplies and start crafting. Now, this first project, I'm having Hubby help me because it's not a traditional picture frame. We had actually gotten this uh, painting and frame free off of our Facebook Towns Giving page in like January 2021. So if you're going to do this project, I suggest just doing a regular old picture frame that pops right out in the back. So to start off, I'm going to use my chalk paint and I am going to paint the frame white. Now I'm kind of a create as you go artiste. <laughs> I have an idea of a project in my head. As I'm in that moment, as I'm in that inspired energy, that's when I get the creative ideas to pop up of, oh, I'd really like to add that. Or, oh, you know what? I want to change it to make it look into this. Like this pot right here. I started off making it all white. But honestly, I would like to make a two-toned one as well. So I'm going to be taking this very light green honeydew melon. Now, this is really old, so I don't know if you can still get this color in the store, but at least it's a very light, almost like minty kind of green. So I'm going to do a second pot with the two-tone colors on it. So while that's drying, I'm going to start on another project. Now, I had this idea in my mind using these pieces right here. I thought it'd be really cute to make this little like egg floral leaf kind of like basket. So I'm taking my foam squares and tracing out where I want to cut since it is a circular pot. And I'm taking my hot glue gun 
and securing it into the pot and I'm taking two of them to stack it up. And as I'm taking my eggs out, I realize that they don't have the picks on the end where I can stick it right into the foam. That makes it so much easier to place that. So I thought, no problem. I have some floral wiring in my craft tubs in the basement. I'll just grab some and hot glue it on. But here's the problem. It's not organized. And I have looked through so many tubs. I can't find it. I know it's a Dollar Tree. I'm sticking to my new spend. And this is the opportunity, guys, to hold me accountable that we are organizing the craft supplies this spring. I have to, even if it's just a basic organizational system that's not tubs of crap all over. In the meantime, I actually found a couple more cool pieces that I'd like to create something into. So it actually kind of was a win-win. So I'm taking this moss it is from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing it on the top to cover the foam now to solve the egg problem I had sewing needles also from Dollar Tree and I thought hey maybe I can poke these through the bottom of the egg hot glue it on and voila I will have the picks on the eggs and don't you know that it worked this is what I love just using your creativity instead of rushing to the store to buy the pieces that you lost. <laughs> so right now what I'm doing is I'm just arranging the eggs in a way that I like how it looks like. And then I'm going to cut pieces off of these flower stems. Again, I got them from Dollar Tree too. And I already had some of these lamb's ears. Now, this was left over from a project, but I had gotten them from Hobby Lobby. Now, right now what I'm doing is I am placing the leaves and the flowers before you glue it down. That is probably the best advice I can give is arrange it the way you want it before you permanently glue it down. And now my little two-tone pot is completely dry with two coats. So we're going to start to decorate this. Now I wanted to use this twine because I thought it looked really pretty if we wrapped it right underneath the lid. And I'm just gonna hot glue it to hold it in place. And then I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. Also securing it with a dot of glue, that way it just stays in place as we're wrapping and at the very end i'm just going to do a little bow so that it looks really cute now i'm going to take my carrots and place them in here now i'm seeing how i want it arranged and then i'm going to hot glue gun the bottoms of it that way they stay in place and they're not rolling around all over the place and now that they're secured into the pot i'm going to take our little green easter grass and stuff it in there just to to give it a little more character and color. Next, I'm gonna take that little wooden birdhouse that I found, and again, this is from Dollar Tree too, and I'm going to be taking my pink paint that I already have, and I wanna color the middle of it pink and the roof white, just to give it that two-tone look for it too. And while that dries, I'm going to be looking for a pretty springy kind of scrapbook paper for the frame. And I'm really going with this one. This one is so pretty, it's so bright, it looks like hydrangeas. So I'm going to take the original painting, this is like a little watercolor painting, and I'm going to trace it so I can have an accurate thing. And this thing was made in 1992, that's crazy. So of course, we're going to cut it out and we're going to fit it into the frame with the staples pushing them down but i really like how that is looking now i'm going to take the wooden bunny this is from dollar tree and i did see it this year in the store so i'm going to add some hot glue to it and place it onto the glass using my ruler that way i know it's centered and now I'm going to take the Dollar Tree flower and I'm going to cover that little hole. I don't like how that looks, so I wanna make sure I'm covering it up. And this is also twine. This twine is from Dollar Tree too. I saw it in the crafting section. And we're just going to wrap it up to give it a little accent and I'm gluing the ends. That way when you're wrapping it, it's a lot easier. 
but I felt tugging as I was wrapping, and of course, little Miss Pepper was having a lot of fun playing with the twine, so I thought it's time for a little pepper break. <laughs> and then I asked Tyler to put his finger to hold down the twine so that I could make a knot, and that reminded me of when I was a little girl and my mom used to say, can you put your finger here to hold the string so that she could make a bow for a gift. Now we're going to go back to that wooden bird house because the paint is dry. And I'm taking two of these sprigs right here. They fell off of one of my wreaths. <laughs> and look at that, they came in handy instead of tossing it. Nope, we're using it for a new craft. So I'm hot gluing them there and I'm also taking a flower, hot gluing that to the top too, giving it a little more pop of color. Taking advantage of how pink and green are making it pop out even more and taking Taking that twine again and wrapping it around a few times. Now, I'm actually going to wrap it so that it's knotted in the back and not the front. I want it to just look straight in the front. And of course, I'm taking my hot glue gun so that I am securing it down. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> we're going to be taking this plastic egg that's shaped in a bunny, and we're going to be wrapping it in twine. I do love how these eggs look when they're wrapped in twine. They've been doing this for a few years, but let me tell you, this, this one's gonna take you a little longer. I'm using hot glue to secure it down. And I'm also using a low heat glue gun to wrap the twine around using my fingernail to press it down. Poor St. Patrick's Day nails. I'm gonna have to get you redone. <laughs> and I'm just wrapping it around until we get to the very top of his ears. That's where I'm going to cut off the twine and secure it down. And for the bunny ears, I'm going to do them each individually. So of course, I'm going to start at the bottom and then wrap them all the way to the top, doing each ear and using my glue gun to secure it down. Then I took these very old pom-poms, legit from the 90s, <laughs> and used my hot glue to glue down a little cotton tail and I really loved how that turned out. It's so adorable. But that's not all, folks. <laughs> Remember that white pot? Well, we're going to take it. We're going to hot glue gun a piece of that styrofoam. We're going to be taking some twine and we're going to be wrapping that around. Very similar theme here, right? It's like my own spring farmhouse collection. <laughs> it's taking the same ideas and methods and just changing it a little bit so that you get a whole new decor because I'm making another bow for this. I'm taking the needle and trying to make it into a pick. Poor bunny butt. <laughs> but that way I can stick it into the pot and that it's secure, adding the grass. I absolutely love how this is all coming out. I'm excited to decorate for spring because look at how adorable all these pieces came out. We created all of them using only our hoarded craft stash. Most of these items were from Dollar Tree, bought the past two years. And I'm happy to say that they still have them. Other things were from my Facebook Townsgiving page, which I haven't picked up anything in a very long time. <laughs> but I absolutely love how all these pieces came out. They're so springy and cute. And I pray that this video inspired you to create something today too.